Welcome friends, take two on our road to discover how to make cream soda. The first attempt didn't work out so well. I made some mistakes, I tried some things that didn't work out, I learned a lot, so let's put that learning into practice. So, I've got uh, regular old cane sugar here. I'm going to add to that lactose. Uh, lactose is milk sugar, if you're lactose intolerant don't use it. What the lactose is going to bring is a really nice creamy mouth feel. It's going to feel wonderful in your mouth. Um, next in are some cocoa nibs, a very small amount. I just want a little bit of some other flavor in there than just vanilla. And just the tiniest little bit of citric acid. Um, cutting way back on the citric acid. Last time that citric acid flavor overpowered everything else. So that goes in. Um, and a pinch of salt. I know what you're thinking, but yeah, I think salt, um, salt is going to help release some of the other flavors. So, all of that is in. I'm not going to put the vanilla in yet, because the next thing in is hot water in order to dissolve all of the sugar. Um, if you put the vanilla in too early, you'll lose a lot of the flavonoids. So, in with the water. Great, now I'm just going to put the lid on this, I'm going to set it aside and let it come to room temperature. Okay, so the sugar syrup has cooled down and now we just need to strain out the cocoa nibs into this big jug. And I'm getting pretty good at doing this without spilling too much. Great. Actually, even though it's just sugar and cocoa nibs, it smells really good so far. Now we just need vanilla. Yeah, I hear you. That is a lot of vanilla. Um, and vanilla isn't cheap these days. So, I wouldn't fault you if you wanted to use artificial vanilla. Um, use a really good quality artificial vanilla in a lot of Baking and cooking, most people can't tell artificial vanilla from the real thing in the end product anyway. So, mix this in. And we'll give it a shake. Okay, so we'll chill this down, and when Julie gets home, we'll see what she thinks. All so right. here we go. Cream. I don't know where to put the giant jug. Cream soda. Now, <laughs> not the color I grew up with. The color I grew up with was. This, White or pink? This electric pink. Most most often I saw this electric pink. Yeah, but these were the two shades that we, yeah. That you would see most often. Um, the clear one is more popular in Quebec. Yes. Um, A slightly different flavor. Mm -hmm. And then I'm curious if they all have different flavors. But this one visually looks most like this one is where we're going. All that, boy. So it's got the smell. It smells sweet. Yeah. That sweet... Uh, so not overly sweet? The flavor comes through. Um, I might not it's have a... I might not have used enough of the concentrate to the carbonated water. Too much concentrate. Too much. Too much carbonated water, not enough concentrate. Really? Because there's I don't feel like there's any bubbles in it. You can feel them in your mouth though. Can't you? I don't know. Maybe we did a bad pour. Maybe I did a bad pour. Okay. <laughs> Beyond the carbonation level, it's got the right flavor. It's got a, a, a it's. It, I mean, it's. It's not super sweet, which I it like. Even though it's got a really sweet smell to it, it yeah. it doesn't have that. It's not overpowering. Um, so just just by way of comparison. So let's try the Stewart's because it's close in color. Uh, okay. And the Pop Shop because you know. That's the one you remember best. It's the Pop Shop. Yeah, we 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 can't. Ex we're not sure. 
I don't get the pop shop poop emoji. Yeah, we don't. I don't really understand that particular. So maybe if someone from the pop shop wants to chime in to the conversation and, and maybe give us a little explanation for that particular. What is the why? Uh, design? Why the poop emoji? So that one's got more bubbles. Oh, yeah. Right. So um, I think that was that's our fault. But it tastes great. So the carbonate. I. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We'll move on. Huh. Interesting. So I think, I think I just put too much carbonated water in this one. I should have put more. Can I taste this one? Yeah, there's one particular flavor that's that's stronger in this one, but they're really close, really close. So I was thinking. You see me, my very serious thinking, drinking pop, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carbonation aside, they all taste very similar, don't they? I don't know. I haven't traced the big one yet. There's a... Again, in this one... So each one has a very small difference in its flavor, but they are very, very similar. There's something in this one that isn't in the other two. Mm -hmm. There's something in ours that isn't in the Stewart's one. Yeah. Um... But if you threw any of them in front of me, I wouldn't really... Yeah. Other than side by side, I'd probably never be able to tell them apart. No. Um, so I think, I think we've nailed it. I think we've nailed it. So the only, the only <laughs> micro nailing bit of this is just getting the concentration right. Okay, so let's pour one the way it's supposed to be poured. One demo of how it's supposed to be poured. Okay. We can do it. Just put less in. All right, bring it on over. Let's. Uh, these are our two purchased ones. These okay. are our two homemade ones. So it's just a little bit more syrup. Is that what you're? A little bit more syrup, yeah. And I think that's. But ultimately, the best part about making it at home mm. is you can do whatever you can, you'd like. You can totally play with it. So if you wanted to put more vanilla in, put more vanilla in. You could make this sweeter if you wanted it sweeter. I think maybe a touch more sugar might be a good idea in this instance because it is supposed to be a sweeter beverage. I'm okay with it though. Yeah, I like it. So. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.